The SSG Scuffcast is back. We're back. Uh, live on twitch.tv slash space station with episode 37. Um, I'm your host, Widow, solo casting this week because Nito um, is still traveling home from visiting us down here in Texas, which was a lot of fun. But this week, you're stuck with me um, and Veet. Hey, guys. What's happening? Uh, Ranny. Hello. And Tryhouse. Sir. <laughs> and we're going to... And we're going to be talking new orgs entering the scene and, you know, interesting ways to do so. Uh, Off-season updates from retirements to player shuffles. Um, we're also going to talk the massive, huge, out-of-this-world 2.0 update. Um, our thoughts for next season as it approaches. And then we're going to, you know, brag about the mini land we had. So let's talk new orgs. I'll be back. There's no, there's no Nito. <laughs> I know. I was, I was waiting. I was waiting. Um, yeah, normally that's that's her. <laughs> well, uh, I think probably the main thing that I've seen about the new orgs is this whole like new way of actually finding their rosters. I don't know if 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 you guys have all heard about it, but. There's... I've heard nothing. So this about is this. The, this is what so again, typical again, try does not in know the know anything how. about this. <laughs> Um, but no, this so I know that Houston Outlaws, who are a Overwatch team, yep. or they started out in Overwatch, Texas um, based org from started in Overwatch, yeah, yeah. It was I know that it was originally the Optic uh, Overwatch team that was was called it? Houston, yeah. That, that, that oh. that's why the the branding's uh, black and uh, and cool. green. That makes sense, yeah. Um, and then I'm guessing they just. When, when everything with Optic went downhill, they just went went their separate Probably labels. branched. Um, but Houston Outlaws, as well as Packs. another team. Um, but the, yeah, they're doing this. They're, they're doing a tournament. It's to, in partnership and the winners with the Beasley of the tournament Esports. are gonna become their new roster. <laughs> Wait. I'm I'm confused. Yeah. So, so the Houston they're not Outlaws, looking for one player. They're trying to get an entire roster, and they're like, "All right, we're going to host a big tournament. Whoever oh, wins it is not, our team." Yeah. Not exactly. just not just like looking, like actively going. We're going to sign. So this is the Houston Outlaws and Beasley Esports in partnership with Pax. You know, like Pax West, Pax East, yeah. Pax East, and all of that. Like they literally oh. were like, "We're looking to sign the next great RLCS team." That's the opening sentence, and it, then they're like, imagine. "We're hosting qualifiers." We're Imagine hosting. They do this though, and so the team wins, and they offer like super low ball. Like we're gonna give you five hundred bucks a month or Randy, something. Randy, what are you? What are you? Did you not read it? No. Oh what? no, they're they're say like in the post, like ex describing it. It's fifteen. They're saying fifteen thousand dollars a month. No, they're not. Yeah, no. that's what caused all the commentaries because people are like, <laughs> I don't think there's anyone getting paid that much in Rock League right oh. now. That would be more than like the highest paid player, I think. Yeah, I up, up to a fifteen thousand dollar a month contract, and what started the whole what then. start yeah. yeah what started the whole like conversation with everybody is because one. You're literally going off of one tournament, qualifiers and tournaments to pick your RLCS team. And and what started a lot of like backlash and response from people, especially the people in the community who, you know, handle player contracts and things like that is you don't you don't know like these kids who are going out for these tournaments don't have lawyers they weren't already an established team they have no idea the conditions of the contract that they're going to be handed on one hand and on the flip side like what if the like this is one tournament like a, a champ but realistically a champ two team could win it all no it's just too vague no i know but you know it's not an rlcs caliber team and what if they don't qualify for all rlcs what does that mean for their their contract It'd be really yeah. funny if they only allowed rlcs t play uh teams to join and then they're like all right we're gonna buy buy one of you out since we know that you're already good that's the only way that they could be for sure they could for sure know that it would be like a good buy then they wouldn't just be wasting money on a team that might not perform well in rlcs or might not even get into rlcs 
That would be really funny if a team that hasn't like qualified for LCS and won't qualify for LCS wins, and then they're just signed by the Houston Outlaws. I reckon well, try goes for it. Try just do I'm it. Sure. Wait, might, yeah, hold on. <laughs> fifteen thousand, uh, fifteen thousand a month. Your, your boy Tryhouse is hitting free play right after. <laughs> but remember, this. the phrasing is up to. So, like, what qualifies for them to go? Oh, like if you were actually somebody who maybe used to be on an RLCS team and an RLRS team, maybe we'll give you fifteen k. But like, mm. if you won the whole thing and we learn that your max rank is GC one, are you just going to give them five k? <laughs> like, what does up to fifteen thousand dollars mean? Like that, I, that's that, that's what that, that, that's what this I'm whole hopefully. thing like does like that's what this whole thing like people are confused about because you don't just go we have a contract we're, we're gonna like give it to somebody um well it seems like i mean if they're if they're just being honest and like we're interested in putting out this much money like are, won't that attract top teams that currently are orgless or yeah. Yeah. But here's the thing some top teams that are orgless are kind of um you know they're they're holding out for like uh, a specific org that they want to come to the scene or something, and like the Houston Outlaws is kind of a, I mean, from my perspective, like I, you know, they're they're a smaller org, right? Like so, I don't know. It seems would like you, the, hmm, yes. But would, would you guys consider um, Overwatch to be a tier one esport whenever it was at its prime? I don't even know. Not sure I don't, how much know. You guys I don't it. know what the Overwatch League was pulling numbers wise, to be honest. It was doing really well. And I don't know numbers wise, but it had the makings of a tier one esport. It had lands for every um every match. So Didn't they, they like, pack out arenas in. for it as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. like, they were doing very well. I just don't know if like their viewership was tier one. Chat, correct me if I'm wrong, was was Overwatch League a tier one esport or was it still considered tier two by most people? Maybe someone in here follows Overwatch and they can I'm give us I'm fairly insight. certain Overwatch was a tier one esport. But if it was a tier one esport and we're getting Houston Outlaws from a tier one esport into Rock League, I think that's pretty big. I mean, the, the Call of Duty League followed suit with what the Overwatch League did. Like, Call of Duty League literally copied it. Um, mm -hmm. So, for another scene that's been around for. for over a decade to just come along and copy what another esports doing then they must have been doing something right yep they had a very good like start and then it just kind of fizzled out unfortunately there is overwatch 2 coming out though i think yeah, yeah. Overwatch later yeah. on this year or next year that. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe that'll like see a resurgence before but... we that rocket league 2 before we figure fizzle off of the conversation of the houston outlaws though there was something that, uh, so we had a bunch of friends over um, the last couple days, including Nito and Try. Um, so by us, I mean, was there for a picture. Me, me, me if you Beats saw the picture. flew all the way for a photo. <laughs> um, and we'll show you those at the end of the, at the, end of the podcast. Uh, for those of you listening, you'll have to watch the VOD. Um, but no, so like we, we kind of talked about this yesterday. Um, but what I don't like that I, I feel like is a big problem with social media is, it's really good a lot of the times, but when some people don't like something without even knowing anything about it, they will just overwhelmingly flood it with negative responses. Like, and, and there's been a lot of that going around, around lately for a lot of things, but specifically like when like the Houston Outlaws tweeted this, that was where they announced it because the Rocket League community is largest on Twitter for like, you know, being more responsible and, and things like that. And so that's where they announced it. They announced it in a tweet and some pro players and a bunch of others like were immediately just responding like LMAO and, and stuff like that because they're pro players already in the scenes, but, but they have check marks. And so you're seeing these responses under it be overwhelmingly negative. I did a, like it, it's worth always having a conversation like that's what we're all here for like you you let things happen but like their only announcement post was being flooded with like negative negative hate from people in the community already people who would encourage people to be able to join something like this if you're a small team who wants to go out for something like this and you see your favorite pro player shit talking it you're probably not going to you know mm -hmm. they did it so much and we and we said specifically I was like I would hate to see them 
bully them out of this. And the tweet's been deleted since. Okay, yeah. I was looking for it. Yeah. yeah I was like, as to as of this morning, there was so much crap talk in response to the announcement of something that we've never seen done before in our LCS. We don't know how it would work. Like, we have questions about and stuff. But they already deleted the post. And, mm -hmm. like, I, I think it's but worth noting that the Discord... Yeah, 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 they did. That the Discord, that the dis the discourse that we're having here um in conversation about it is genuinely asking questions and saying hey we wish there was a little bit more transparency how does yep. this work we're not saying hey this is stupid go delete you it. know what i mean like i don't hate it we just have questions and and things like that but so many people just like attack it and yeah they've already deleted the post about it which is i think the worst well, great there goes an room. there goes an org good job guys this is why mm -hmm. we can't have nice things i mean i assume they'll still get involved you don't say lightly that you're gonna look for a team and get involved in something or you don't say lightly that you're gonna host a huge event like i assume that it'll be back up later or maybe like more explained but yeah no it's just stupid stop bullying people on social media you little children old <laughs> children yeah i actually quite liked the idea i think it's yeah. because we've had talks before where we, we've talked about like there's there's only so many spots like top tier spots in 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 eu and and a right now and there's there's a lot of orgs that are showing interest and it's like how do they join the scene without just going for like a mid-range team mm -hmm. and i think this is actually a really good way for not saying houston outlaws are a, a top tier org but to come up with like a unique unique mm. way for them to get their name into the community I, I thought it was quite cool personally well yeah and just to and like from my perspective it would just also just bring hype in general like it started um, the they just, conversation they just pick up queso right <laughs> or it would actually be an na team wouldn't it yeah yeah I would, i'm assuming um, it'd be an a i assume who, the who texas NA, team they pick up? It's Pux. are there any That's NA the teams thing, that are right? open yeah, we don't know. Like, but that's, yeah, like they said, there, there are plenty of teams you never know what's going to happen. Like, you know, um, the original Kansas City team was picked up by Shopify. Like, whole teams can be bought out. Anything is fair game. Um, we also just, have Williams Racing. That's yeah. another team Ooh. that is joining into Rocket League. They're just not through a huge tournament, what but they have doing? announced that they are going to be joining into Rocket League as well as an org. So that's actually Williams. kind of huge to be on there. Racing. Like, so you tell us about, about Williams him. Racing oh. because uh, uh, us non-race -ra fans know nothing about them. They have 1.2 million followers on Twitter. I'll tell you yeah. that right now. Yep. Well, that oh my they, gosh. They, they, I think I want to say in the current F1 season, there's 11 teams, and Williams Racing is one of the 11 teams in F1. Damn. They have, so, oh my god. Yeah, cool. they've got they've got a ton of followers. Like. The official Rocket League Twitter account has one million, and Williams Racing has more than that. Like that, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So they're doing it under Williams Esports, another Twitter account with like 10k. But if they tweet about it often, that's gonna go up pretty quick. Like wow. that. I mean, this is that's huge. Anyone that's an F1 fan mm -hmm. that likes one of the two drivers for Williams, or just likes the team, is immediately gonna latch onto them. And F1 is massive. Like, there's so many F1 fans, it's kind of like a... Well, you saw the hype that came silent, around the F1 It's hat. huge. F1, it's massive. Isn't racing yeah. one of the biggest sports, technically? If not the biggest sport, like, viewership-wise? I thought I saw that somewhere. Racing in general? Yeah. I'm not sure, to be honest. I have I have no idea. Google, Maybe, yeah. here I come. People like cars going fast. That's I know that if thing. you compare the, the F1 viewership to NASCAR viewership, it's like night and day. Like, F1 just absolutely... Uh, like dominates that's cars nowhere to be seen yeah basically yeah so well, that's, that's super exciting and super exciting to see something so like huge and impactful get into rocket league um and i'm still sitting oh, here saying that if a hundred thieves does not join rocket league this year that i'm gonna burn everything to the ground um uh, <laughs> but oh, yeah yeah i told i was like we've got most of the big orgs in here now don't we and mm -hmm. then oh yeah 100 thieves 100 thieves we just need 100 thieves we just need it like what, what, what was it courage was it john who tweeted out courage about playing rocket league sometime and he was like yeah let's do it or was it tim the tap man i don't know 
Um, but anyway, guys, we're, 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 we're trickling here, but we also wanted to talk about the off season. We talked a lot last week about roster changes and roster mania, um, and how they, you know, there were going to be a lot of changes happening and some announcements and they've already started. They've already started, um, you know, alpha cap, alpha cap mm-hmm. went to the Knights. Wait, wait, guys, I, before, before we, we talk about that, who's resolve? What, let's, let's resolve. It's UK Esports organization. They're the ones teaming up with Williams Esports. I thought it was Vitality, but... I have no clue. I have no no idea. Okay, well, they're doing some sort of team-up thing. Okay, anyways. Alpha kept to PK. Sorry. You're just going to take this whole category since you want to just lead it. You go. Oh, please no. Please no. I know nothing. I don't even know who Queso is. Um, (laughs) Alpha kept got picked up by PK. Um... Thumbs up to that. Alpha Caps. Alpha Caps. I, uh, um, he was not on the bench for very long, was he? He just got oh. dropped maybe a month ago and has already bounced uh, into a new team, which is uh, a promising sign because I, I know we were, we talked a lot about Alpha Cap getting dropped and Gyro getting dropped. And I'm assuming Gyro is probably going to have something similar like this. Like the next podcast, we're probably going to be talking about how Gyro is getting picked up by somebody else. Yeah, but we have insider information since Lando's the the coach for PK, and he's been saying Offcap has been doing very well. Um, exactly the kind of player that he wanted. He he works hard, uh, and he's out of college now too, so he he has time to grind. And apparently, they've been a good fit. So I'm excited to see how they play. He's got Hopefully a massive they're... like he's building a big fan base as well. Yeah, he's like, branding he's really well. His like... Twitch is popping off apparently. No, he, well, he's, he's all through up. his TikTok. His TikTok yeah. is huge, and he, he does a uh, yeah. all he posts to YouTube is shorts as well, and his channel is just popping off with shorts as well. So yep, he deserves he's, it. He's doing he it has right. a personality. Um, we'd like to clarify that last week we reported on Shift saying that Queso was probably going to split up, and like an hour post our podcast, <laughs> they were like, yeah. "Nope, they couldn't split us up," and they stayed to get stayed together. But also talking about things within like an hour of our podcast, uh, Singularity just disbanded. So yeah. like an Whoa. hour ago, yep. Hmm. It is. Do you think Singularity it, picks up Queso? Why does Queso what? Queso's not, not signed, right? No, Queso is the org. Team oh, Queso whoopee. is the org. Oh, you keep Spanish. saying someone picks Queso's... up Queso. And I'm like, what? Are... What? Sorry, it does sound every time like... you say no, Queso, I just get hungry. It doesn't it's, sound like an, an org. org. I'm so sorry. It does sound like a uh, just a, a, meme name. a team. Yeah, yeah, but no, Team Queso is a Spanish org. Who's taking Team um, Queso? We're like... not keeping Team Queso. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. And I, I'm pretty well, it's just, it seems like a name like Omelette. Was om- omelet yeah. was just omelet, a, yeah, exactly. omelet, uh, you know. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one. Omelet Wait. was Lion Blaze and Jacob, wasn't it? It was a really good team, but yeah, they were, it was an orgless team, and their name was Omelet. That's what I think of when I hear Queso. Yep, they played around. And the I time. think of chips and and Queso, and then I get hungry. They play good rock. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Um, Imagine being called Team Queso and playing like insane Rocket League. Like it's a win-win. You know? Imagine. <laughs> I just want like every match to be like Team Queso playing Team Omelet and it to just be food the entire time. Um, guys, no, but though I think the thing that Shift reported on that was the most shocking, at least to those of you who follow EU Rocket League and everything, and a lot of conversation was happening around, is that Shift report again, all these things are rumors. They're never confirmed. We're basically just regurgitating and having conversations <laughs> about it. But that um, they're, uh, they, Dig is having tryouts to potentially replace Chassette. And so oh, that is one that a, a lot of Wait, people Dig? kind of are. Is he on Dig? Was it? Wait, no, no, not Dig. Sorry. Shawset was trying out on Dig. Yeah, Sh- Shawset was trying out for violent uh, in place of Violent Panda. I don't have oh. enough sleep in my body. Apparently, um, Shawset's I trying saw... out for Dig. I saw um, oh, who did, who was it that I saw? Somebody else was trying out in place of uh, Violent oh, Panda, Panda. Well, but I can't remember who it was. Um... Shift tweeted it. Hmm. We got a shift then. Shift, save us. No, I you think know, that was their last report on it. I think this it was is all. 
this is all EU Rocket League though, and we know <laughs> NA Rocket League is is better. Of That's, course. True. Sorry, it was flame. It was Fine. flame. We, yeah, okay, yeah, flame. We can pivot to NA. Um, there have no not been anything confirmed besides Alpha Cap, but Rizzo did officially leave G two. The, yeah. the the well no we were predicting that he would Oh no, I don't want you I don't want you to look at the camera and shrug and say yeah because the last time we talked about Rizzo leaving G2 as a player you were like there's no way he doesn't stay on as a content creator and I legit no, on this podcast doesn't... on this podcast no. said there's no way he stays and all of you Somebody's were like he would receipts. stay I don't believe that All all of you Wait, were no, like he'd I, stay So my my reasoning for him staying was just his merch drop that was the only thing that I saw, but maybe that was like a last goodbye. All of, of thing, you, but... all of you, all of you were like, there's no way he leaves G2. And then like literally what, two days ago, it was like Rizzo has officially left G2 as a content creator. Uh, Makes you wonder though, if G2 are going to be looking to pick up more content creators. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, guys. Leave it to, to the Sorry, I, I don't want to cut you off here, but <laughs> apparently a few days ago, uh, Queso is again updating and saying that they're parting again. Wait, what? Yeah. Why, who said this now? Shift on the 25th. Daily Team Queso update. Going their separate ways. See you tomorrow for your Daily Team Queso update. <laughs> so after oh, saying geez. that they stay together, they, they're now again saying that they're yeah, separate. We'll find probably out. just we'll a find meme. Shift are probably just memeing. I was about to say, going. I think at that point it's just memeing. Yep, it's um, gotta be. Maybe, Although maybe. Shift did tweet, I saw that they tweeted that Atomic from Team K, so apparently had tryouts with Top Blocks. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. That it's one of them things like the team could quite clearly stick together because they're insane, but I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's Rocket League and anything can happen. Yeah, uh, speaking of anything happening in Rocket League and people debating, um, I don't know if you guys saw, but there were a bunch of tweets from like, OSM and Leth and yeah. Mercy and all of them talking about how if you'd noticed like Rocket League had previously been on update 1.99 and there were these paragraphs about how I'm so excited something huge is going to have to happen with Rocket League 2.0 it's going to be Rocket League 2.0 update mm, Veeds you can take that one <laughs> yeah so <laughs> Rocket League 2.0 dropped and probably half of chat and half of the people watching d didn't even know it was a thing that it had already dropped. And uh, I don't blame you because I think there was three things <laughs> included in the update. And yeah. it was all, it was, everything was just inventory and <laughs> Bug fixes. trading, trading hotfixes. That was it for update 2.0 in Rocket League. So we, uh, That's crazy. I, see, I, the thing is, um, Leth actually, <laughs> Leth actually DM'd me after because I I retweeted the 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 hotfix tweet, what and Leth like? replied to it saying, "Make sure, be careful, you might get shadow banned." And he DM'd me anyway about it after. And um, mm -hmm. apparently, he had no inside information. He was just noticed that it was on one point nine nine and just wanted to obviously. So the get content creators debated everyone. Yeah, but they were it's also debated at the same time. Like they didn't, they didn't something actually for do it. anything. So. Like that is 2.0. Like any other game, it okay. would be bigger than this. Well, what, than would, you, what would you What would you? have wanted to see? What would have been oh, man. a 2.0 update? I don't want to repeat myself. At two least some update. talk about this. Some sort two of acknowledgement that it's 2.0. 2.0 update would have been creative mode. Should yeah. have been creative mode. I think that would be a lot bigger uh, uh, of a rollout, though. That's like that. That that's a yeah, but huge they could have started it. They could have like, like the no. like the start like of it. the rollout no. could have been with two point oh. No, they needed not, to be no. something big. Like I don't when know. creative mode comes out, it will be a fully fledged mode that will have so many bugs and will take weeks to fix. Yeah, and we'll but hear about it so much larger weeks. before because they will it's bring people weeks. in and they will... Uh, at least I hope they would. Like, what Fortnite did is where they brought, like, 30 creators to uh, Epic Games HQ to help develop it or test it Yeah, and, like, get features made, and it was, like, a whole workshop thing. Um, I would like to think 
that would be similar for experience for uh, Rocket League, but I don't know. I it really wouldn't hope. surprise me if they literally just flew Leth out and got Leth to yeah. try some that's stuff. That's what they need to do. I mean, that's not that's that's not too far off, actually. Leth me here. You heard it here, guys. Literally we'll just said Leth. Information when it happens. <laughs> no, I have a feeling, though, because, like, obviously him and a few others are the, are the largest when it comes to map making and, and things like that. But I, I, I still believe that they would bring in their, like, creators and things like that who would they think would use them the most you know um bring scissors because the whole point yeah scissors honestly uh -huh. like scissors might actually i mean he, he loves rocket league so you never know like he he might scissors, create a, mirror, thinner a, a, a scissors him. death run in rocket league That'd be mm -hmm. crazy. yeah that dude imagine the youtube clickbait for him already just like the the rocket scissors death run rocket league edition that'd be so sick i like, actually so cool Cause Dude, that would be awesome, though. Mm -hmm. It would be. But that's the thing, oh. like, imagine having all that just at, like, how, how many people have bought and down and, and played Rocket League? Isn't it, like, isn't it like 75 million downloads in total? 75, 80 million, yeah, around there. Like, obviously, there's not that many people that still play the game, but mm -hmm. on a daily basis, you, you, you still see hundreds of thousands of people playing. Imagine everyone having a creative mode at, like, their fingertips. Because the, the issue with workshop maps is that it, they're hard to make. They're not easy to to make and yeah. use. And obviously, you can't use them on console. You can only use them on PC. So imagine yeah, if everyone already, yeah. could just create anything. that they, well, well, not anything, obviously. There'd be limitations, but like it would be insane. The game would actually mm -hmm. break, though. And we've been waiting about oh, three weeks for I Need a Savior to disappear. I don't need a savior, and it's like imagine if creative <laughs> mode's broken. We'll be waiting about three years for it to get fixed. <laughs> Seriously, that's honestly, yeah, that's that the main thing. Is like, it creative mode would cause so many bugs. Yeah, so it would. And, and the thing also to remember is like people are constantly asking. The people are asking the, the wrong people when it comes to it. And like I know we 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 want to get there, but so many people are constantly like yelling at Psionics and Rocket League to bring workshop maps to console. But I think people need to remember that it's not Psionics who makes those workshop maps. Those are creator made. Those are develop like not, like people who with developer skills. Those are people like Leth and others making these these maps. And despite how much they're used by so many people, they're not made by Psionics. They are not yeah. Steam is the one that hosts the maps, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Like on Steam. their servers, Steam has the workshop maps. I don't even know if Psionics has like a like a formal list of workshop maps. Like in order to get oh, them yeah. working on Epic, you have to download them first off of Steam. So it's like... Yeah, and there has to be like limitations because there's some of these maps that do things that I don't think a co like a console could ever ever do yeah like a console could ever 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 do and, and figuring out which one of those are runnable which ones of those are efficient like workshop maps aren't something that are created by the game therefore no matter how hard they're pushed they're not a priority for rocket league mm -hmm. this was not created by rocket league this was not their brainchild so it's not a priority for them to integrate it elsewhere i do think that it would be amazing to have Obviously, for console players, since there are millions, but I think that we'd be more likely to get creative mode than we will to get workshop maps created by others able to host on consoles. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. They're not built to said, be on it. Texture packs aren't... You have to download texture packs, too. And so... Yeah. I'm, I'm a little confused why those aren't just already baked into the game at this point. But... um, Yeah, because it's oh. not like they're crazy textures. It's like there's one texture pack that you download and then that's all you need for any of the maps so mm -hmm. it, i don't feel like it's um <laughs> look, that doesn't seem too hard to add it's not like your your download it's not like minecraft where there's like fifty thousand different texture packs you can use there's just the one um could you imagine though if at this point like after all these years of people wanting a creative mode, if Cyanix, like, it's still not even, like, on their radar. They're just not thinking of doing it. I doubt you it's not it? on their radar, though. It's because got after to the be. Epic acquired... Because, again, Epic acquired uh, Cyanix a year before 
the update. You know, yeah. um, it ha it it has to be on their radar. Like you guys just said, it is it is much harder for Rocket League to. Here's the thing, especially when they're doing these year long seasons, you see the complaints from pros when there's an update like a night before a tournament or the day of or any of right. that, like something that like you guys said could break the game, like integrally break there. They're, if that is something they're building, they have to know that it is something that is not going to break the game for the esports scene. Or the pro players, like oh my gosh! You and guys, where, well, where did they fit that in? A year and a half ago, where the servers were down, like during it was like RLCS? a couple during RLCS, yeah. and it was like the biggest embarrassment yeah. for Rocket That's League multiple times ever. too. I remember that happening a few times just during RLCS for whatever reason. The servers just can't take it, and yeah, everyone would like really hypothesize that they're actually doing it on purpose to make people watch RLCS. That's how much it was happening. Speaking yeah, of it was... RLCS, it, it's it's a year since RLCS X was announced. A year today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ooh. so it cha oh changed it changed RL esports forever. I would assume we're probably gonna hear something soon. If, if just given that that's that's the case. Um, well, no, that actually segues to the next thing. Um, still a still a rumor. But, well, still not necessarily how I would say a rumor. Things that come from Shift RL, when we talk about them, they're always rumors. They they are not confirmed. That's the point of Shift is to be able to leak things early. Um, Esports Observer. Esports Observer tweeted out uh, yesterday, basically, that um, RLCS next season is going to start next month in August. Whoa. Oh, that's good. When you said that next month in August, I was like, wait, that doesn't add up. And then I realized Today's July 1st. Mm -hmm. Hi, happy July, guys. Also happy yeah. Canada Day to our Canadians. I'm, I'm not happy. <laughs> I'm I'm, I'm hitting a milestone this month that I don't want to be hitting. You've got oh. this. You've got this. I'll be hey. there soon. This this, this oh, month. Miles, this, you getting this, old, V? Try, yeah, 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 Try House will be there soon, too. At the end of this month, I'm turning 30. Woo. Trials, you're next month, right? And then I'll be right? right behind you. Oh, yeah, I'm in August, yeah. So, I'll be there. Wait, you're 30 next month? Yeah, August August 22nd, Trials right. birthday. I expect gifts from everybody in that is listening to this podcast. Absolutely and, not. Once you yeah. turn 30, you no longer get a birthday gift. You know what? That's <laughs> fine. That's, 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 that's fair. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, but uh, RL Esports e Observer, which I guess is technically still not a, a statement from psionics is not a statement from you know rocket league or anything on that but esports observer which i think is a little bit more on the legitimate side um tweeted basically that um rl esports would be returning next month um rlcs will be returning so it, it, it'll be really interesting to see because if you guys for those of you who were here a year ago at the start of rlcs x um they tried out so many different formats every split so there were there were multiple splits for the seasons there were majors at the end of every split all the splits had different formats and then i think again everything had planned for maybe there to be a land but then there wasn't a land so that there then there was the championships that we all just you know we spent a long time doubting it but that was some of the most fun rocket league um i'd ever watched in my life um I enjoyed the championships yeah so a lot, yeah so we had yeah, um, that was way better than i thought it would be actually it was awesome <laughs> I think, game I think 21, it was when though. we realized that they had breakups. You know what I mean? Like they had time. Like the ones who were going to the finals didn't play like a best of seven the day before. You know, like mm. it was or like right before. Like they would they would play one and then they'd be done for the day and then they'd play another and then they'd be done for the day. Yeah, it was actually like a little bit more like like uh, football or something where it's like there was a three hour chunk in which these people played consistently. It wasn't like you know these big tournaments where people will. Uh, which is what I would kind of hate about it was like space station would play their first game and then they'd be waiting around for four or five hours for the, the final or whatever to catch up. And it's just like, mm -hmm. it was kind of nice actually to, to be like, all right, for this three hour chunk, this, the superstar teams are playing against each other. And as much as I, we memed it, I'm oh, man, it, would, it actually worked pretty well. I, I wouldn't hate seeing it again. No, I wouldn't That's hate seeing thing, it though. again. Um, but how would they? But I actually.
actually I would. I would I would absolutely hate seeing that again because that was the world's format. And by the end of next year, I hope we're actually going oh, to yeah. a world's. What if yeah. they do that <laughs> format on land though? Would you be down for that? It's hard to say. Would you yeah. want you to see it the entire time? I don't I don't think they would because if the majority of their audience would have to book tickets, there's no way parents of teenagers and things are gonna Oh, no, I don't think they would. To watch. Do I don't think they would. No. But, but if they just like hypothetically, if if that w were to be the case, would you be down for that? I, I think it'd be sick. But they they did have to do it I like guess. they did today, or did this year, where it was just like they basically had one game for the day, or mm -hmm. one series for the day. That and would that's narrow just down like how... the teams that got to go to Worlds, though, because if they did that, they would have to make it something that was three days max. That's the only way they could mm -hmm. make a venue and have people sell out the days. You know what I mean? Like, it would have to be three days max. So it would have to be structured a bit different or go longer throughout the day or have less teams that qualify. They're, they can't do it a, a less... week long. Actually, and having though... less teams go to the land would probably really hurt the scene in terms of, like, because... Well, it would be different, though. It would be different because it was broken up EU, NA, EU, NA, OC, SAM. But these teams would actually be playing each other at Worlds. So it would be it would be yeah. structured differently anyway because we had to have EU championships and NA championships. So maybe it wouldn't even take that long, as we think, mm -hmm. because the, the it would just be a group of, you know, from around the world who made it. That's the point of Worlds. So I don't know. I, w I would love to see it. I, c I could sit for 12 hours and watch Rocket League in the stands. <laughs> or maybe it's the longest Maybe just a final day is just a best of set between the, you know, like the, like the final match is a best of set, but yep. everything else okay that. is. That would oh. be fine. I mean, because that sounds best of better than a bracket reset and stuff. What? I I'd say what they should do is like best of sevens throughout like groups mm -hmm. or best of five. I guess it uh, depends how many five. But best of set. See, I feel like it, it, they they always do like two groups of like six, right? At worlds, oh, is it two groups of six? And it's, best of, it's always weird, but twenty-four hour what, lands are bust. I see in the chat. Sorry. <laughs> what they could do is like semi-finals could be best of set, but best of five series, and then the finals could be best of set, best of seven series. And that would just be the final of day, like you know. Well, that's only three hours though. Like when you go to a land. I'm like, all right, I'm going to be here for, I don't know. That's the thing. You, you could end hours. up just being in the venue for like two or three hours and then dipping. So it'd be a bit, it could be a bit. And doing that for like That's three That's how other days, sports it do it, right? Like like the Super Bowl is one game. Mm -hmm. But if they did do it that way, like if somebody's traveling halfway across the world, they they might want to explore the city that they're staying in a little bit more, which if, it, if they did that type of format, it might allow them. Yeah. people to to have a bit more fun while they're out there as well yeah yeah cause so far because at lands every rocket league land i've been to has been like non-stop from morning till night screw it guys league. we're doing a month-long land we're all just gonna move into a venue <laughs> for down. a month screw all responsibilities i honestly th if they announced that a land would last a week like the world championships did i i still think it would sell out imagining like a land with dorms where like you can pay to stay at the venue. I guess it's kind of like Rainy. the casino one. Wait, didn't they do that in Vegas? Vegas. So somebody was talking sort about of, it. Yeah. Was it last week? Yeah. Somebody was Vegas. Vegas. Oh, I wish I was around the scene for the Vegas land. It sounded like same. it was so much fun. Oh, it was same, same, it was same. uh Kovalo that, that that said that I was talking to him about it the other day. I was thinking was it on the podcast or was it somebody else? But yeah, he was saying that Vegas was super like all in the same area. Well, so we were we were saying that this people. last week, and like obviously, I think a lot of people wanted to come back to Texas. It sold out the quickest. People were the hypest. It was easiest to travel to. But I wouldn't mind it going to Vegas again. Mm -hmm. You don't yeah, have to I'm worry saying... about you don't have to worry about the teenagers when you're in Vegas because you can just disappear into the casino and they can't follow you. <laughs> that's, that's true. true. D ditch them. I mean, uh, for you guys, Texas would be like super convenient, but. I first in alien though that they had that the majority of people from the eu were willing to fly into though think of how many people bought tickets to this last texas land it, it, sold, it sold out, out. yeah oh, like it sold out in record time surely we'll do it again and that was in a, the only, venue. a really small venue but in a yeah. bigger venue hopefully mm -hmm. 
Although I just think think they realize DFW is like a major international airport and like yep. I it's like the easiest you can get some of the cheapest flights to Dallas, so that's like I I, I know everybody was going to be there and oh, man, I'm just so sad it never happened. <laughs> hey, but you know what did happen? We'll get it. Do you know what did happen, guys? We had a mini land. Was. We had a mini land the last couple days. Yeah, that mini land was so cool. I'm so happy I was there. <laughs> <laughs> guys, can we get a can we get a, a one in the chat or some SSG hype if you would like to see um, a group photo of the scuff cast at our mini land? Two. Yeah. Wait, are we typing ones or twos? I said um, one or SSG hype. Oh, so well, Randy typed a two, and conf <laughs> and then he typed a sixty-nine. Randy, this is I don't I don't care. This is why we can't have nice things. We have it. it. We have it here. We have it here. And so we have it. Here. Yeah, for for the viewers that can't, uh, for the listeners who can't see what's happening, uh, Nito, Widow, myself, and Randy are in a picture because um, we just Perfect. we're all hanging out in Austin, <laughs> and then <Yeah>. um, <laughs> Widow tweeted. Uh, we need somebody to Photoshop beads into this photo. And, uh -huh. and here are your results. Here is yeah. all of us as beads. Let me minimize that a bit. Let me minimize. Oh my gosh, that is Wait, so what? much beads. <laughs> oh my goodness. So Wait, what's happening? <laughs> so much so beads. Much beads. <laughs> we have so much beads here. As you can see, we are all beads. Beads is everyone. Um, and beads. then, and then, and then, and then, and then. We have, we have this one by Garm. We have. Big... Why is Wait, it? It's cropped. Oh, okay, I'm bad at this. Should have trained for this. Um, but yeah, so we we finally oh were goodness. able to all hang out. So this is the first time <laughs> I've been able to hang out with any Rocket League content creator since the pandemic broke out. So it was it was really refreshing to get to. This one was pretty uh, awesome. Yeah, that that one's like That's when you're just glancing at the picture phone. of me though, but it does it does fit in. It mm -hmm. does fit. It's very good. Um, but yeah, it was really refreshing to actually get to hang out with people again, because this is something I was talking about with Widow, um, the other day was when we, we were not a part of SSG yet by the time the pandemic broke out. So we haven't had any events. We, we were talking how Widow and Nito weren't partnered yet. And mm -hmm. Widow was still Black Widow IRL and Nito was still Nito Queen RL. Um... And it just it just kind of put it in perspective just how long we've gone without and, and not to um, get seeing other creators and not to get like sappy with it because I know like I think we're allowed to like talk about the pandemic a little bit a bit more as things are starting to open up and it not feel as bad because now now we're seeing seeing each other and and stuff like that but like it feels like a blackout kind of like that almost didn't happen. Um, and it it was mm. specifically for the like, but but within time, like it feels like the time went by so stupid fast yeah. because like it it is worth noting that these creators you see a lot of the largest like blown up um creators that you see in the scene were either not that large when the pandemic started or they weren't in the scene yet um yeah. what happened like free to play happened during the pandemic and rocket league became next level during, like rocket league's always been amazing but the numbers that you're seeing hitting a million hitting two months like, like viewers on online and all of this stuff is stuff that happened all within a bubble of us not being able to see each other like all within a bubble of within your own house like without yep. going out and celebrating it no lands during it and like the last big land and i think there was a crl event afterwards but the last big because i think you went to the crl of it maybe i don't know um i did but the last yeah did. the last the last big event was dreamhack anaheim and that was the very end of february of last oh. year and that was a year and a half ago and like when 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 try entered in like where everyone was yesterday like we realized like and like we all hugged and said hi like the last time we'd done that was a year and a half before like two weeks before they were like everyone go on lockdown and so like mm -hmm. obviously so much has changed and we've all changed as creators like ssg picked us all up like all of all of this stuff but like that doesn't feel a year and a half ago like time doesn't feel yeah <laughs> 
What? <laughs> well, we, just, we just haven't had any like landmarks to base it off of, so it all just feels kind of like. <laughs> it's like how was the blur. last time we the hugged? Blur, yeah. A year and a half ago. Even even everything that would have happened in the summer that got cancelled as well, like the mm. Olympics was supposed to happen in the summer, which would have s split it up a little bit. That there been something to go off. Yeah. Um, the Euros, the European football, that should have happened last summer. It's still mm. the Euro 2020, but it's happening right now. So it's there's, there's just literally no like milestone between. It's it's kind of weird. And and Madrid, which happened a couple of months before COVID hit everywhere, is that like that was my first Rocket League event that I'd ever been to. So I got this taste for. For lands, and then it's just being stripped away. <laughs> no more. Snatched away. Yeah, yeah, we went to like the last RLCS we went to was Jersey, and like we we lived in San Diego, and our whole house was like actually considering Madrid. But then we were like, why would we do Madrid? I'm fairly certain they're coming to Texas next. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. regrets, regrets. Right. Like if I had known we'd have to go this long <laughs> on another land, oh man, I would have paid whatever it costs to get to Madrid. <laughs> yep. Wait, have you have any of you been to any of the EU RLCS final? I have not. Nope. I wish. Our uh Jersey was my only RLCS. Rainy's gone to all the NA ones though, right? Pretty much, yeah. I might have missed one, but I'm not sure. No, but like not ending that on sadness. Like, uh guys, we sorry, it was just it was just a weird reflective moment. Like I it was so awesome being able to see people. It was so awesome to have, you know, Veeds do a thirty hour round trip flight. You know, just for a yeah. photo and to leave, you know, and be right back in time while Nito's still traveling back from Austin. Yeah, I don't know how his flight <laughs> got back before Nito. Before Nito got back crazy. to Michigan. Um, no, but it was a blast. And it just made me super, super excited for the future of, like, Rocket League and content creation and RL Esports. And, like, just being able to see everyone now that, like, we're at a point where we are where we are as creators. And, and you know, we are all here with SSG um and you know lands the next land guys it's gonna be like we're gonna be going to a land in an org mm -hmm. we get to see many of you guys there too hopefully a lot of y'all will be showing up yeah um no so i do think i do think that uh we can wrap it up there um unless anybody else has any other things that we missed was there any breaking news that I, came out while we were doing this i do want to mention something Tonight, I will be uh, appearing in the Fear 500 Close Qualifier, if anyone wants to watch that. I'm going to get clapped, but uh, Fear is doing a 1v1 tournament Close Qualifier right now. And uh, you, a lot of really Rani, good games. you got this. Confidence Go is key. Support, support your boy, Rani. Yeah, if you guys want to Rani. watch some good gameplay, there's a place to go. Um, and Nito will be back. Nito will be back uh, next week for the cast. Uh, this was her very first time, unlike all these other scrubs. This was her very first time missing the cast. And it was literally because she is traveling. Um, and next week, I won't be here. Um, I will be the one missing the cast. So it'll be my very first time missing the and cast. And who and this is this girl, Ben? This is, this, is be us, this is us hosts publicly shaming you guys because we plan it. We don't <laughs> tell you the day before. Um, no, but guys, um, as we wrap things up, I'd like to remind you guys that you can find us on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Spotify, and Apple Music all through anchor.fm slash SSG Scuffcast. Um, from there, you should be able to find our individual socials. Um, also, you can watch these VODs on you. You can watch the VODs here, but you can watch the live video of this at youtube.com slash Space Station Gaming, or is it Space Station GG? Or Sp I don't know. Look up Space Station Gaming wow. on YouTube. We also go up on there. Um, we love hearing feedback. We love you guys tweeting at us. We are literally like 70 followers away from 1,000 on Twitter. If you want us to stop talking about Twitter and saying oh, the no. word Twitter, go follow <laughs> us on Twitter. Um, but no, guys, keep them coming. And once again, thank you guys so much for listening. Um, we love you guys. We're excited for yeah. next week. See ya. Bye, y'all. Peace. Peace.